everyone. I'm Lynn Deal. You're listening to In the Food Section on Wine Region News Radio. My guest today is Nicole Chamberlain of San Tosti. Nicole, when I said before the break that palate cleansing beverage sometimes sounds intimidating to people, water is a palate cleansing beverage. Crackers could, can be palate cleansing, but nothing has really worked for me personally. And this, I guess, is a testimonial like Santosti. Oh, you sit down at these panels and you want to experience the aromas and the flavors and each um, vineyard is different and a winemaker is different. You want to make sure that you don't have overlapping flavors. And I found that it, it was really a vital part of my experience. So thank you. You're one. welcome. <laughs> How did you develop it and why? You mentioned it was in the idea book that. There was no palate cleansing beverage out there that you knew of when you were um, in college. What kind of tests did you go through to prove that tasters really do need to cleanse their palate in a different way? Well, it was something that um, coming from that chemistry background that we both had, it was something, you know, we had an idea of the makeup we want of the beverage. We want it to be something that wasn't a weird concoction that you have to, you know, rinse your mouth out with water after you drink it. Um, we wanted it to be a consumer product that people would actually enjoy on its own as well. Um, so, you know, having that in mind, it was a lot of trial and error, many long nights in the lab. We spent Valentine's Day night in the lab. Um, <laughs> and uh, once we had that final product, we, um, well, at least the first final formula, we would bring in um, winemakers from the area as well as students, our fellow peers that were trained in sensory analysis, um, basically to test out each formula as we developed it. And once we got feedback from that first formula we'd made changes to improve it did it again kept doing that until we came out with something that we couldn't improve anymore that people found effective at cleansing the palate and um, we kind of put it into the real world scenario we went down to actually cambria um, winery down in santa maria one of our um, friends there mike fay one of the winemakers and um, we had said hey guys you know we'd love for you to use this in your barrel barrel sampling which is something that you know for winemakers is a really tough challenge because it's very young tannic wines and um, they used it during the whole, you know, trial, and they, you know, found it effective. So it was kind of a nice validation for us. And um, from there, it was a matter of um, just really getting a professional approval um, because, you know, to get the consumers on board, you also have to have the professionals who are, you know, saying, okay, this product works, it, you know, we like it. And um, so that's kind of where we went from there. Before that, yeah. is it true that when you drink a lot of different wines, that your taste buds are all blown out. Exactly, yeah. Um, you have it. You you tested it to make sure. Yes. Pa- I mean, palate fatigue is, you know, it's an accepted known thing in the industry that... Some people believe they don't get it. Some people do. And, you know, you know, there's people out there that have their own, you know, protocols and uh, <laughs> their own way of tasting. Um, but, we, you know, we focus on the people who do want to listen to a new idea and a new um, way to improve their... Um, their winemaking processes, as well as, um, you know, in the tasting room, help them improve their sales by helping their consumers really taste how their wine is, is to be intended. And I think consumers, um, when we introduce this product during our test marketing, they instantly grasp onto it. You know, it's such an exciting idea for them that, you know, they could walk home with a bottle of wine that they're, they're really sure they're going to like that wine. And um, and something that it's really fun to bring to dinner parties and wine parties and um, kind of elevate the experience for everyone. What's interesting is, you just mentioned this. When you go tasting and you buy a bottle of wine, take it home, open it up, and, oh, it doesn't taste exactly as I remembered it. Well, part of that is because you haven't washed everything out of the mouth before you tasted the wine. Exactly. Recently, I used it um, in an olfactory uh, exercise where when we would breathe in the sticks dipped in the essential oils, I could taste them. So I washed my mouth out between each one, and it worked very well. Mm -hmm. Another example. So you know it does work. But if you're just the general consumer, you don't really know that you're going to get home and open that bottle of wine. It's so different from the tasting experience that you had a whole lot of fun at. Oh, yeah. But the wine wasn't exactly what you remembered it to be. When you developed... Santosti, and by the way, you can find it online um, at S A N T A S T I. Santosti, can you order it online? Yeah, we have an online store. We actually have running free shipping right now on our 12 and 24 pack orders. 
How did you make the decision um, to make it a product that you could also drink? Well, it was kind of one of those things you mentioned before, how a palate cleansing beverage might sound intimidating. And the whole idea is that we want consumers to be okay with, you know, their wine tasting experience and not be intimidated by it and um, truly be able to, you know, know that they're tasting it correctly. Um, so, and it was something that, you know, we we knew um, coming from a business standpoint that the beverage needed to be, have a nice wide market um, to be able to sell to. And if, if it was, you know, a concoction that was just selling to winemakers, you know, the business can only go so far. Um, so we want it to be a product that tastes great and um, elevates the wine tasting experience. And to help with that intimidation, we've actually learned over the last two years of selling the product um, some nice repositioning things we're going to be working on for a brand new packaging we're going to be launching this summer. Um, so we're actually going to be transitioning from palate cleansing beverage to palate cleansing water. Um, because it does taste like a water, and some people use it as a water substitute. Um, and there's a big movement towards functional waters in the market right now, as I'm sure you're familiar with. Um, so little changes like that help the consumer understand the beverage better, especially a brand new type of idea like this. The educational hurdle is definitely high, but I think the new changes we're making are really going to um, improve the product success. For those of us who are not chemists, <laughs> you, know, you, you keep that in mind when I ask you this question. Uh, people will say to me, well, what's in it? Obviously, you can't tell us how what the formula is uh -huh. because that's why, why you have the company. You've developed the formula. But how do you describe it? It's water-like. You said yes. water functionality. Yeah, we want it to taste just like a sparkling water, so it's not going to leave any um, residual you know, taste or flavors or feelings on your, on your tongue. Um, but the ingredients in the product are all natural. Um, you know, there's nothing bad. So you for you shouldn't in there. worry about chemicals yeah. or anything like that. Yeah, and there's also no sodium for those people who are worried about um, their sodium intake. Um, so you can just consume it. But the ingredients are actually what make it palate cleansing. Um, they actually work to remove that tannin load that you get in your mouth. And for those of you who don't know a lot about tannins, it's what gives you palate fatigue. So anything that tastes bitter or astringent, like let's say coffee in the morning, you have that bitter taste or wine that makes your mouth dry out. That's tannin building up on your tongue. And if it builds up too much, you get palate fatigue, which means you can't taste anything anymore. Everything tastes the same. So the ingredients in Santosity work to remove that tannin buildup on your palate. And they also work to um, stimulate your saliva. It sounds kind of funny, um, but it just helps to remove all the flavor components in your palate and rehydrate your mouth. Occasionally, there is a company that um, is promoted by dentists, I think, that creates the saliva in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And so... It's interesting to hear you say that because it's an essential part of what goes on in there. Yeah, digesting food and breaking down things. So, when you developed Santosti, how'd you come up with the name? <laughs> that was a that was a long process. Um, you know, coming up with a branded product, there's um, you have to be worried about you know if if it is successful, which we plan to be. Um, you know, you have to worry about other companies suing you for the name and everything. And we ended up having to make up the name. And um, we combined first sense and taste um, because that's what the whole product revolves around. And it turned into Santosti, and then it turned into Santosti. And we love the meaning of, you know, the French son, S-A-N-S, um, meaning without. And then the Latin root of the word son means whole. So you, in a sense, you remove the taste to get the whole taste in your mouth. So That's great. Yeah. Sometimes I'll tell people that my friends Nicole and Andrew have Santosti, and they'll say, I haven't tasted that wine yet. <laughs> Well, at least they know it's has something to do with wines. So. Exactly. We're going to take a really quick break. Nicole Chamberlain is my guest today. Santosti, it's a, a palate cleansing beverage. A palate cleansing water is, is what you should think of it as. It's essential to any wine tasting experience where you really want to experience um, the flavors and taste. And palate fatigue does happen. I don't care who you are. You can argue, but it does happen. We'll be right back.